Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to try and look at the um, elements that make up life, um, which are predominantly carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Now, hydrogen forms one bond, oxygen forms two bonds, nitrogen forms three bonds, and carbon forms four. If we take Uh, hydrogen and we combine it with an oxygen and another hydrogen we get water and the hydrogen part is slightly this gives the delta slightly positive and the oxygen is slightly negative and this means that the molecule has a polarity it has a positive pole and a negative pole and this gives us the ability to form hydrogen bonds which are, give us a great deal of the properties which are important in biology um, if we then take a carbon and we join it to a hydrogen and to another hydrogen, we get um, the parts that form fatty acids, which help to make triglycerides. Now, these are then obviously joined to a glycerol molecule across here, uh, an ester bond, which has a little bit of oxygen in it, but fats are predominantly carbon and hydrogen. However, carbohydrates have a carbon joined to an oxygen joined to a hydrogen joined to another hydrogen. And this is the basic um, structure of a carbohydrate. Um, they're in the ratio of CH2O brackets N, where N is the number of carbons. So for if you had a hexose sugar, such as glucose, the ratio would be C6H12O6. Now, things get even more interesting when we add in nitrogen. When we add in nitrogen, we can make, with hydrogen and a carbon, we can make an amino acid, which is the basics of a protein. Uh, proteins are amino acids joined together in long chains, joined together by peptide bonds. Proteins also have this group that biologists call the R group, which stands for variable. Um, and this is not a member of the periodic table. Um, this is something that is different. There are 20 different R groups and they give each of the amino acids a different property which is important in the folding of the chain which results from joining to them all together. The next um, important element we have to think of is phosphate. Well, not really an element, but we'll start with phosphate. If we add phosphate to carbon, to nitrogen, to hydrogen and oxygen, then we can produce uh, and nucleotide. Now, nucleotides make up DNA, RNA, which are the molecules of inheritance, and they also make up ATP, because ATP is a modified nucleotide with T triphosphate on the end. So it's two phosphates added onto an existing nucleotide. A few points about um, wording. So anything mono is just one. Anything di is two. Anything poly is many. Anything that's called a saccharide is a sugar. Anything in ending, ending in o's, O-S-E, is a sugar. Mer, as a suffix, means parts or bits. So monomer will be one. So glucose is a monomer of sugar. Um, and the thing di, as in dimer, is two things joined together. So two glucose units joined together form maltose. Anything that is poly is many repeating subunits joined together. So <coughs> glycogen and starch are polymers of glucose. 
The same thing applies to uh, amino acids. So two amino acids formed joined together are a dye and then peptide because of the peptide bond between them. Many of them joined together is a polypeptide. So a polypeptide is a polymer of amino acids.